Are you ready to make the shift from brick and mortar to e-commerce? There's nothing quite like going into a store and holding an object in your hand that you're interested in purchasing. Checking it out in person, seeing what the material is like, and deciding if the item is the right choice for you. Although that experience can be reassuring for some customers, others may prefer shopping from the comfort of their homes. If you're interested in taking your brick and mortar store online, then stick around. I'm Alex, and in today's video, we'll discuss four ways you can make the switch to an e-commerce store. Let's get into it. When it comes to shifting your retail space online, you'll want to find an e-home for it. Picking the right platform is crucial. Of course, an obvious and perhaps your first thought is Amazon. And there's no surprise why. In fact, in 2022, nearly 40% of all online retail transactions went through Amazon. Even superstore Walmart only has about 7% of the market share in e-commerce. It's likely that your business won't be able to directly compete with Walmart, and Walmart can barely compete with Amazon. Amazon is a great platform option with high traffic and major selling potential. However, there is a downside. The biggest drawback to Amazon is that your brand will just consist of a link on a product page. There is little to no room for a unique customer experience. So as you can see, Amazon is an attractive choice, but not your only option. A few other popular storefront providers include Wix, Weebly, and Shopify. With these e-commerce solutions, you can build your own website and online shop in one stop. If you're not ready to build a complete website or storefront from scratch, Solutions like Shopify are there to help. You can even hire someone to design your shop for you at an additional cost. If that's within your budget, great. But if it's not, you can consistently invest your time and effort to get it right. Another option for getting your website up and running in no time is Jotform's Store Builder. In just minutes, you can have a cleanly designed shop set up for both web and mobile use. There are over 100 store templates you can choose from or even build a storefront completely from scratch. With templates or from scratch versions, you can totally customize your site using drag and drop components and widgets. Best of all, Jotform's Store Builder works with or without an existing website and is free to use until your business needs to grow. It offers over 25 payment gateway integrations, so there's a good chance it'll work with the payment you've already got up and running at your physical location. Next up in your transition online, you want to strike that perfect balance of getting noticed and keeping customers happy. Your potential customers online may not know much about your brand or products. When looking to purchase a product similar to what you offer, they'll most likely start with an Amazon search. Once they've made that initial purchase from a larger retailer like Amazon, that's when it's time to step up and stand out. Provide high-quality merchandise, outstanding customer support, and a few personal touches they won't be able to overlook. Leaving your customers with a pleasant experience will help your brand stick out among the pack. When they think of buying something you sell, you want your company to be the first one they think of. To stand out from the crowd, try adding a few personalized touches to their customer experience. Here are a few great examples to incorporate into your e-commerce business strategy. Include a handwritten personalized thank you note. It doesn't take much time or effort to do this, and it can go such a long way with your customers. Who doesn't love a surprise handwritten note? Some cartoonists even go the extra mile and include a one-off drawing for people who buy special products. You could include custom swag in each order. Keychains and stickers are relatively low-cost items and are always a fun little addition to any order. Just try to be original. You can also try boosting your packaging with upbeat, colorful, or even slightly silly messages. This gives your customers a smile and lets them know you have a sense of humor further defining your brand. If your customers are happy with their product and your brand, they're more likely to accept cross-promotion and upselling. Now that you've got them reeled in, you have another opportunity to get them hooked. For example, you can offer them 10% off their next purchase if they use your hashtag in a social media post. The goal is to find a way to get them to your website. You can do that through promotions and social media mentions. Then, when they're in your online shop, you can prompt them to sign up for your newsletter. This keeps them up to date on your new products and more promotions. You can offer your customers better deals via your website since you'll be avoiding Amazon's hefty referral fees. 
Another aspect of your business you'll have to keep an eye on in your transition to e-commerce is managing your inventory. As your sales and customer reach grow, it'll be harder to pack and ship your items yourself. Hiring a few people to do the inventory work may be your idea of a next step, but what if I told you there's a better option? To avoid needing a bigger warehouse, paying more employees, and shipping costs, try using a fulfillment service instead. If you have a smaller business, these fulfillment services might be a bit on the expensive end, but you'll need to weigh the options. Spending money on a fulfillment service or the cost of doing it all yourself. Consider the time it takes, the employees you'll need to hire and train, and the cost of storage, and more. However, once you hit a certain point of growth, a fulfillment service could actually be your most valuable partner. At that point, you can even streamline the process further by having your suppliers send inventory to the fulfillment service instead of trying to keep it all in your physical shop. Amazon provides fulfillment services for those companies who sell through Amazon, but they don't stop there. They also offer fulfillment for other businesses as well. There are tons of fulfillment options. Amazon is just one of them. A smaller company may work harder for your business and working locally can make it cheaper to get your products into their inventory. Finally, when making the move from brick and mortar to an online shop, you want to focus on maintaining your customer satisfaction. Don't leave customer support up to your fulfillment companies. Sure, some of them may be equipped and willing to handle customer support regarding returns, but it's up to you to take a more hands-on approach to ensure your customers are satisfied. One way to keep tabs on how you're doing is to send an online form. This helps you streamline communication, gather customer feedback, give surveys, and more. JotForm has over 10,000 templates to make streamlining communication simple and straightforward. These forms are also highly customizable and blend seamlessly with your existing website. Plus, if you're using JotForm's store builder, you'll have a one-stop shop and highly integrated solution for your e-commerce store. Best of all, the Store Builder starter plan is free. There you have it. The transition from brick and mortar to e-commerce doesn't need to be a highly complicated or scary change. It's time to take your business's future into your own hands. Let's review. Here's how to move your brick and mortar business to an e-commerce store. You want to choose the right platform for your business. Find the right balance between getting noticed and keeping customers happy manage your inventory effectively, and maintain a high level of customer satisfaction. Until next time, I'm Alex with JotForm. Don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks for watching.